Now we're coming up to one of the best times of the year to sell print on demand products with Etsy. And if you are in the beginning of even starting your shop, now is the best time to just not start but scale your Etsy business. And it's all about utilizing the right products in the right designs. So let's jump into my computer so I can share with you trending designs that's selling well right now and how to create these designs so you can start making these products yourself. And if you stay to the end, I'll share with you just how easy it is to take one design like this and apply it to three different print on demand products. I'm sure it's all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. All right, so here we are in Kittle. And as you can see, Kittle has a ton of different designs you can choose from to really help you start well in regards to what products you create. And so we definitely want to be mindful if we are having a tough time creating different products we can go in here and actually find things that's related to our particular niche so i can go in here and search up things for christmas and as you can see here i can see multiple products different designs that's tied to the christmas niche and this is definitely a great place to start so you don't have to you know do anything from scratch however we are going to start from scratch because there is a specific design i definitely want to create but as you can see they have a ton of different things you can use and definitely redesign these to bring out more value in whatever niche or whatever market you want to sell in now if i do want to create my own product here i can go to new project and when i go into the settings here i like to set my settings to be 5000 by 5000 because i believe that is the highest resolution i can get for my design so there won't be any problems with the print once i have a product purchase so i can hit create and now I have my design here. And one of the helpful things about Kittle is that they have a ton of different text. It's already pretty good that you can go ahead and use. As you can see here, the layout is already, you know, following trending things on Etsy itself. So we can definitely start here and find some things available as well as their option for you to create different AI designs. If you are trying to find an element that's not visible here. And so you really have a lot of things available to you. If you are you know, trying to create something specifically for your product that's not found on Etsy or not found on a different programs, you can actually create that right here using their AI system. In our case today, we definitely want to stay with our retro text design. And so I definitely want to add in some text here and we definitely want to focus on bringing in personalization to our design because I think personalization is going to be great when we are selling these type of fall designs all right so now that we have our text on screen one of the things i definitely want to do before i even have my text be placed in here is change the text style now kiddo already has a ton of different popular font styles already in their program that's doing well i like to lean towards the retro style because that is doing extremely well and i definitely want to add that to my design here so the specific font style that we're going to use today is the sunny drop and as you see here that I already put in that retro vibe that i think would do extremely well with our design now from here i definitely want to add in my text and we already seen you know multiple t-shirts and multiple products on etsy selling well following the trend in my era so i definitely want to add in in my era but more so align this to be with the fall season and bring out some more fall elements to bring out our design even better All right, so here we have our text on screen in my fall era. And we know, again, this phrase is doing extremely well. We can actually change this out too if we wanna you know, make it more specific. We can say in my fall mama era. And so again, we can just add in just a little bit of that you know, person into our design if we wanna do that. But in our case today, we definitely want to just stay with our design in my fall era. And then we wanna add in some personalization at the bottom here. So one thing I like to do with my text is to bring in this transformation that's offered here from Kittle to really make my design wavy and bring in some more different you know, transformation to my text design. So I like to stick with flag. And as you can see here, I have these little dots here to change just the layout. But I definitely wanna add in this type of transformation with my text here now if I do want to change my transformation all I have to do is hit edit transformation and these little dot points comes up for me to change this around and I definitely want to make this fit well with my design here just for everything to line up properly then I have that as well all 
All right, so here's our transform text here. I think everything is looking well. And now we want to add in some more of those elements like I talked about earlier to our design. So one of the things we can do with Kiddo is that we can upload our own elements to this design here. And so if you have a downloaded patch of elements, you can upload that simply by heading over to the left hand side and you want to go to uploads. And from here, you want to upload anything like a PNG or a JPEG or SVG. And that's something that can be used again as an element for our design. So I have a couple of fall designs I grabbed from Creative Fabrica that I want to add to my design. All right, so here we have our fall designs uploaded here. And as you can see, it's just a whole entire pack of different PNG files I uploaded from Creative Fabrica that can work extremely well with Kittle. I don't want to use all of these, but I definitely want to spread these around our design just to bring in a little bit more to our creation so we can actually bring in some color to our design. So I dragged over one of my designs here. And as you can see, the background is not removed, but that's okay. You can go to background Remover tool here with Kittle. And as you can see here, it's going to use their AI tool to remove the background. So this can be a standalone PNG. Kittle makes it so easy for you to remove that background so you can actually work with your design. So that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to add some more things in around our design. All right, so here's our design that we have so far. I think everything looks good here. And one of the things I also like to do to really see what my design will look like on the color shirt I want to sell is just change the background here. So it's going to be a dark heather gray shirt. And again, I like to create things you know, based upon what my t-shirt color is going to be so I can see what things are popping out well, where are some color changes that need to be made. Now, in regards to our text, obviously we're going to change our text text color because we definitely want to bring in some of the fall vibes that we have here one thing we definitely want to do is bring in a popular t-shirt that is doing well on etsy and we definitely want to extract their colors from the t-shirt design to add to ours so we can stay within the trend of what is working well all right so here is a design that is doing extremely well on etsy right now it's a shirt that says have coffee have teacher and obviously you know we're focusing still on these colors here that i think will work extremely well with our design so the reason why i you know uploaded this into kiddo is because kiddo has this tool where i can extract the colors from any image on my screen so i can be one-to-one -one with the colors that i am using in my design and so that's definitely what i want to do here and all i have to do is go into my, my color here with the text i want to change go to the color pick tool and now head over to my design and all i have to do is just click right on the color i want to extract and you see that color added here same thing for this particular color here i can add that to my design by going to color to the pick tool and just hovering over that specific color and as you can see that changed that as well and same thing for the bottom half of my design and now you see these colors added and then i can do the same thing here and this just makes it really easy if you already see you know t-shirt colors selling well you can definitely just focus on specific colors that you know will do extremely well for our season now one of the things we definitely want to add here as you can see with our you know pumpkin spice um element in our uh, text itself is almost sharing the same exact color so one easy thing to do when you come to your text design is basically add an outline to the image so all you have to do here you just go over to the border and you definitely just want to make this visible but change the outline of it now in our case today again we said we're going to sell this on a dark heather gray t-shirt so we don't want our outline to be black we definitely want our outline to be something that's bright like white so we definitely want to add that here and we definitely want to bring up the border that we have and as you can see here as i bring up the border that's just the outline of my text you can see the color has changed here if i bring it down then obviously that border is gone so you can adjust the thickness of the outline if you want but i think having it all the way at 100 is going to do well for us and again i want my color to be all white so i can change that there same thing here for the fall i want it to be all the way up but i definitely want to change my color to be white now one final thing we want to add to our design is the option to personalize this product i think selling anything personalized is going to be the way to go so in our case today we definitely want to add that personalized option here at the bottom just somebody's name here all right so for me to add my text all i have to do is hit t on my keyboard and it will bring up some text for me to start with and again i know i'm adding in that personalization at the bottom so all i have to do here is grab my words and again just to showcase the availability for personalization I'm just simply going to put in a name here and I'm definitely going to create this t-shirt more so you know focus on teachers and so I can just simply put in someone's name here and again we definitely want to add in that script font because I see that to work well with my personalized items and as you can see we have all of these amazing fonts available for us with Kittle so I can start off with this one here and I want to change the color of my text because obviously I'm selling this one a dark heather gray t-shirt so I definitely want to change my black text something that's a little bit brighter so I just want to make this all white and here is our design 
design. And one of the cool things about Kittle is that if I want to see what my design will look like, I can head over to this t-shirt here. This will actually allow me to create a mock-up for my design. And again, as you see here, you know, this design can be two things. I'm going to share with you how easy it is just to take one design to make it into different things. So say again, if I'm selling this on a dark color gray t-shirt or in our case, let's just make it black and we can actually make our shirt visible on our mock-up image. And as you can see, this is how our shirt will look once it is printed out. So I like this because you're able to make quick adjustments to your designs to see what works well, what doesn't work well. And again, if you need to add anything to this, you can go in there back to editor and change some things up. But I think for our example today, everything looks extremely well here. Now, the reason why I say this design can be done, you know, for multiple products, because if you notice here, we actually title this a mug and not a t-shirt design. And the reason for this, whatever we use for one product, we can actually use for a different product. So I could just simply put in here mug and I see some options here from Kittle that I can use. And again, I can just simply click on a mug here just to showcase what it can look like. And again, I can just zoom this out, make this a little bit bigger here. And as you can see, this will look perfect on a mug. If I do want to sell this on a white mug, all I have to go and do here is just go back in here, change my outline of my text. So I will ungroup, go to my first text, change the outline to be black. Same thing here, change my outline to be black. Here as well, my outline to be black. And of course, change the Miss Smith to something that's black. Go back into the mock-up generator. And again, this is why this is so important. You're able to do this all at one time. I can head back over to mug. I have this mug here. I can make this mug color white. And now I can make this a little bit larger and see how this will look on my mug. And again, everything looks extremely well here. So this is the opportunity you have to really go in here and change some things up to fit your products that you're selling. Either you're selling a mug, you're selling a t-shirt, a hoodie, a pillow. If you want to make those design changes, you can go right into Kittle and make some changes on the fly. I can go back in here and pull out more of an orange color and this is just how easy it is to sell this design on multiple products if i do want to sell this on a pillow in which pillows are doing actually pretty well right now on etsy i can have my mock-up be on the pillow as well and as you can see you can use one design for multiple products and again this looks extremely well on a pillow itself so you have everything here available for you to make the proper decision in your designs so you can sell the best product and again if i want to keep the color changes i have and use this for a design all i have to do here is go to this button which is my download area i can click remove the background as i don't want that dark heather gray type color to be in here i can hit remove that background now this will save this with no background that means it's going to be transparent and i will save this as a png file and now i have the option to upload this for a t-shirt we know that works well i have the option to upload this to a mug we know that works well also and i have the option to upload this to a pillow where i can actually start selling these type of products on my etsy shop so as you can see creating fall designs for etsy is really easy to do once you identify what is trending well and bringing in different features like the text feature with Kiddo, as well as uploading your elements and just creating multiple mockups to see what is possible with other print on demand products. Now, if you wanna try out Kiddo on your own, I make sure to leave all the details in my description box below. You can actually get started for free today by trying out their free version and just testing some things out to see if it's best for your print on demand business. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to go over how to start your print on demand business. However, if you want to learn my step-by-step -step process of getting your business up and running with Etsy, then check out my next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.